Hey guys, Kokusum for the one here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you guys my Pokemon game collection. Now, I've been collecting Pokemon games for a couple of years now, and it's gotten to the point where my collection is pretty decent size, it's pretty mediocre. I don't have every game in my collection, of course, but it's still a decent size. Now, I'll be showing off my Pokemon Blue version first. We'll be going from the Game Boy games up. So, the first game in my collection is Pokemon Blue. Now, I got this around two years ago at a gaming convention called, uh, not a gaming conve convention actually, it was at a Comic Con where I live, and it was only around $25. It was probably, this is actually probably one of the most played Game Boy games I actually have in my collection. I've almost gotten all the Pokemon in it. I went through the whole story and everything. So, Pokemon Blue. Now, the second game in my collection is Pokemon Red. Now, I do have all three of these guys. I have Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. This is the, actually the first one I got out of all three of them. My friend, I bought, a, bought it off of him for around 30-ish dollars. Uh, pretty good price, actually. Um, I never actually finished Pokemon Red. I think I've only finished Pokemon Yellow and Blue, but Pokemon Red. Now, like I said before, I do have all three of them, so you're probably guessing this. Pokemon Yellow is my third game in my collection right here. Pokemon Yellow is probably one of my favorites besides Blue, um, just because I love playing through the game with Pikachu. It's very fun doing that, and it's kind of like the anime. You got Jesse James and everybody in this. So, here's Pokemon Yellow. Now, moving on, I actually have a few Japanese games here. The first one I'm going to show you is the first game that got released in Japan for Pokemon was Pokemon Green. I think it came out with Pokemon uh, Blue, no, Pokemon Red as well, but um, mostly everyone says Pokemon Green came out first. That's at least what I say. So this is the fourth game in my collection right here. If the camera wants to focus, maybe if I bring it up a little more. Don't think the camera's gonna focus, but you guys can see it. Here you go. Now, I have one more Japanese game, and this is gonna be Pokemon Yellow. I don't have Pokemon Blue and Red just yet. Um, I'm gonna get them soon, probably this year sometime, but this is the second Japanese game I have. Now moving on from Gen 1, we're going to go into Gen 2, and I actually have two copies of Pokemon Gold right here. Um, the first one I bought, I don't know which one is which, I think this one right here. Um, this one sometimes doesn't save, I don't know wh what happens, I think it has something to do with the battery inside the game or something like that, but sometimes it doesn't save and it deletes my game save file, so I bought a new one so I can actually play through it. So Pokemon Gold. Now. Of course, what is Pokemon Gold without Silver? I actually have two copies of this as well. I think I was supposed to give one of these to my friend for a birthday, that's why I bought an extra copy. I have no idea why, but with this, I actually have the original box. I bought it, or one of these copies with the original box here. Um, it even has the guide in here. It's pretty beat up, of course. This is actually how I bought it too. Um, it has the original trainer's guide. Right here, if you would look through it, it is legit. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is actually the only Game Boy game that I have with the box. I've always wanted to get all of them with the box, but they cost around like $300 ish now. So it's a lot of money. So Pokemon Silver. Now, moving on from those two games, we're going to go to the remake now, and it's going to be Pokemon Crystal. Now, I think I bought this one offline. I could have gotten another copy. I don't know if my friend still has it or not, but I was originally going to buy off my friend for $35-ish. I thought it was a little too much money. I don't even know why I didn't buy it. It was definitely a great deal for me. Um, buying Pokemon Crystal for $35 isn't that much. Could have had two copies like I do with Gold and Silver, but Pokemon Crystal. Now, we're pretty much almost done here from the Game Boy games. I'm just going to show you guys two... Uh, random Game Boy games. These aren't just going to be main, um, mainstream, I guess that's what they're called, games. They're also going to be like Pokemon Pinball, stuff like that. Um, also Pokemon Coliseum, other games. But I have the Pokemon Trading Card game and also Pokemon Pinball as well. Um, I think I have a battery in here. Yeah, I do. So it does still work. I haven't really played that much of Pokemon Pinball on the Game Boy because it's not really my favorite one. Ruby and Sapphire is one of my favorites. And I've never actually played this game either. I just bought it so I could have it in my collection. 
Um, I've heard it's a pretty good game for a Game Boy though, so recommend picking up a few like train card game. Now that's pretty much it. Like I said before, that's pretty much it for my Game Boy Pokemon games. So we're gonna move into the Game Boy Advance games. I'm gonna start with um. Le Actually, no, we're not gonna start with those guys. We're gonna start off with the first Game Boy Advance games that came out, which was Ruby and Sapphire, and right here is Ruby right here. The label's a little beat up. Um, I think I bought this from a store, like a retro gaming store. I don't think I bought this one offline or online like I usually buy my other games. That's Pokemon Ruby. And then, of course, I'm gonna also have Sapphire version. I have two versions. And the reason why I do have two versions is because I thought I lost one of them, but when I moved out of my house for a few months, I was cleaning up my room and I found my other Sapp Sapphire copy. So now I have two of them, which is super nice. It's always good to have doubles of old games because in case either one dies or you can even get double the money if you want to sell them, stuff like that. So Pokemon Sapphire. Now I also have Pokemon Emerald right here, all three of the games. Um, Pokemon Emerald is probably my favorite out of all of them, I would say, just because Rayquaz is my favorite legendary. Um, still in pretty good condition. Of course, the label's going to be a little bit beat. I don't have the boxes or anything for these guys, so that's the reason why. Now, I was about to flash these guys off before, but now I can show them. The Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, or just Red and Blue remakes. We got Leaf Green version. I have two copies here. I don't know why I actually have two copies. Uh, I bought one from the United States, and then I think I bought one in my hometown, but I have no idea, so Pokemon Leaf Green. Now, here is Pokemon Fire Red. Uh, the label is pretty beat. It's got a little uh, dirt on here. I should probably clean them off. I don't exactly know how to clean off uh, Game Boy Advance games too well without like ruining them, like the inside. Probably just wipe it off carefully, but Pokemon Fire Red. Now for, I think this is like my last Game Boy Advance game, but we got it right here, we got Pokemon Pinball, um, Ruby and Sapphire version. This is my favorite pinball game ever, like out of any pinball game, like in uh, arcades or something, or on other uh, handheld devices, this is my favorite. I've always liked that, I don't know why, it's always been a fun game for me to play. I didn't have it during my childhood, but I've had it for around two-ish years now, and it's a pretty, pretty good game. Now, I'm actually going to move on from handheld games for a while and go into some console games. I don't know, let's, let's show off my Nintendo 64 games first. So the first one in my collection for Nintendo 64 is Pokemon Stadium. I have two copies. My sister bought me one and then I bought one when I went on a trip to the United States with my father once. So as you can see, one of them costs 25-ish dollars. They're not that much. I think this one costs like 30-ish dollars, uh, they're not always going to be the same price of course because they're um, resold again, but Pokemon Stadium. Now I also have the sequel to Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Stadium 2 here. The label's a little bit B, I still have the label for like how much it costs, it costs like 35 bucks. Um, where did I actually buy this? I don't remember which store, it says Gamers Orlando, I'm pretty sure that's not the store I bought it from, but Pokemon Stadium 2. Now, I only have two more games in my Nintendo 64 collection, which is Pokemon Snap, the one of them. Now, Pokemon Snap, probably one of the best Pokemon games on the Nintendo 64. I really love this game, it's always fun, even now, just like, even if you play it once, going back and replaying it again, you never, it never gets old. I really want a remake for this game, but... Pokemon Snap. Now the final game is the game everyone probably has if you have a Nintendo 64 and the game everyone hates. Hey you Pikachu. Now this game isn't that good. I actually don't have a microphone so I've never played it myself. It costs five bucks. Yeah, it's not that much. But yeah, I don't have a microphone. I've never played it before. Uh, I've heard it's not the greatest game in the world. It's pretty decent for a Nintendo 64 game like controlling Pikachu and stuff. But yeah. Hey, you Pikachu. Now, moving on from that, we're going to move into our GameCube games, which I think I... Actually, before we do that, I probably should show, should have showed this off before. I actually have the original box from Pokemon Snap still. 
Pokemon Snap still. Um, I think I still have the guide in here. The box is still pretty beat up. It's old, of course. It wasn't in plastic. Actually, it wasn't plastic wrapping, but it was beat up before that. Um, we got the original, whatever this is, cardboard casing. Uh, we got a free player, a, pl a free player's guide offer inside, um, which contains this. I don't actually know what this is. And then we also have what is this thing? Nintendo 64 customer information thing. And then we also have the original guide for Pokemon Snap, the instruction book, which is pretty pretty cool. Professor, <laughs> look at Professor Oak right there. That looks so derp. And then we got, I don't know what the trainer's name is, Todd. I like Todd's drawing, but Professor Oak's face, though. Oh, sorry, I bumped my, my, my mic there, guys. But yeah, that's pretty much in the box. Um, I'll put away this later so we don't have to do it in the video. It might take a while for me to actually put it back in carefully. So, again, moving on from Nintendo 60. For now, we're going to go into GameCube, and the first game I have is Pokemon Coliseum. I still have the case for it, the game, um, even the guide is still in here too. We don't need to show that off, really. But this is the game. I don't want to take it out, I don't want to scratch it, of course. I've never played for or through Pokemon Coliseum myself. I've only played through Gale of Darkness, but I've been getting to it. It's definitely one of those games that's on my list to play. Now, the second game is Pokemon Gales of Darkness XD. I don't have the case for it. When I bought it, it came in this little black case here. Um, you guys want a closer look at that? It's a very, very good game. I recommend picking it up. I think you could trade Pokemon from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire to this game in, like, uh, backwards as well. Like, Gale of Darkness to Ruby and then Ruby to Gale. So, that's pretty much it for my GameCube games. And we're gonna move into my Nintendo DS games now. I don't really remember which games came. I think it was Pokemon Pearl, Platinum, and uh, Pearl, Platinum, and Diamond. But the only games I actually have out of those three are Platinum, and I have three copies of Platinum. Surprisingly, I don't know why I have three copies of Platinum. Um, not one of those games that you'd think you would have uh, like a million copies of, but I do. I don't have, I used to have Pearl, but I did lose it. I never bought Pl or Diamond just because, I never liked Diamond, I don't know why. I, sh I should probably buy it just to complete the collection, but yeah, that's Pokemon Platinum right there. Now, moving on from those guys, of course, I don't have a Diamond or Pearl to show off. So I'm gonna go ahead and show off one of my, actually is my favorite Pokemon game ever, Heart Gold. These were, this game was actually my first one I've ever played in my life. Um, I have around 300-ish hours on one of these copies, and I did a lot of action replaying on these guys. <laughs> it was definitely a fun time during my childhood. Um, definitely fell in love with these games. Anyways, Pokemon Heart Gold. And of course, I'm also going to have Pokemon Soul Silver to complete it. Both remakes right here. Pokemon Soul Silver, still a very good game. I prefer Heart Gold, of course. Everyone has that one Pokemon game they prefer. But yeah, Pokemon Soul Silver. Now, we're gonna move on to the next games in the series, which is Pokemon Black and White. Now, I only have Black and I have two copies. I didn't get White because when they made Black and White, I still didn't like the idea that they were moving fr on from Heart Gold and Soul Silver because I still love those games. And uh, I wasn't used to the change, so I only bought Black because I was like, hey, I might as well buy a new Pokemon game, try to play it, see if I like it. And I never did, so I didn't buy, buy white version with it. So there's Pokemon Black, and the next game is the remakes of Pokemon Black and White. Uh, I have Pokemon Black 2. Again, I didn't buy white 2. Uh, I didn't like the games too much, so yeah, only got Black 2 right here. Now, that's pretty much all I have for... I actually have a box I could show you guys. I still have the original Soul Silver box. There's nothing in it, of course. Um, I'm pretty sure I still have the Pokewalkers somewhere, but they definitely don't work anymore. I wish they did. Pokewalkers are pretty cool. I would still use them to date just because they're a little fun game to play when you're just walking about or in school or something. So now onto the Pokemon or the Nintendo 3DS games are Pokemon X and Y now. X and Y recently came out around two years ago. I've played through X, and I actually have the max amount of hours on this thing. 
Um, this is probably the most played Pokemon game I actually have in my collection, besides Oris and then, or Omega Ruby and then also Heart Gold. So, Pokemon X. Then also, I have Pokemon Y. By the way, guys, I do have the cases for all these games still. I just didn't want to bring them out just because why show off the cases when you can just show off the games? So that's what I want to show off. So, we got Pokemon Y right here. And then I still have two sealed coffee copies of Pokemon X and Y right here. They're, they are still in mint condition, so they've never been opened before. I don't think I'll ever open them just because I already have two open copies, and there's no point of having um, an extra copy open. Might as well just keep them closed and then sell them at a higher price when I'm older. Or even keep them for my child. Never know. So... From there we have the remakes that actually came out I think a year ago now. We got Omega Ruby first. Um, this is my second most played Pokemon game and the one I'm actually playing the most of right now. I stream this on my Twitch and stuff so pretty good game. And then I also have Alpha Sapphire which I reset a lot. I did have a series on my YouTube of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire but I stopped it just because I don't know I didn't really like the remakes that much. Uh, they kind of got a little bit stale after a while because they're just pretty much like X and Y. And also, I do try to speedrun these once in a while and practice speedrunning, so... We got Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Now, we also have a few more non-main stream games. Or, I think that's what they're called. I don't know if that's the proper term for that, but we have Pokemon Art Academy and we also have Mystery Dungeon Gale of... Uh, Infi Gates to Infinity. I said Gale. I was about to say Gale of Darkness. Mubby. So we have Art Academy. Pretty good game. I do enjoy playing this once in a while. Drawing some Pokemon here and there. I haven't really played it that much because it's not really one of my favorites, but it's still a good game. And then Gates to Infinity. I've never liked Mystery Dungeon that much. Um, and also Gates to Infinity wasn't really the best Mystery Dungeon in the world, so yeah. And I think this is my final game, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I have anything else to look like it. But we have a sealed copy of Super Mystery Dungeon. Now, this is the most recent Pokemon game, I think, that has came out. And I've heard very good things about this. I'm definitely opening this up soon and going to play it. Um, a super good game. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry about that, guys. I am back. My dog started barking, so I had to... Calm her down for a bit, just so we can end off the video on a good note. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And go ahead and tell me in the comment section down below your Pokemon game collection. I'd really like to know how many people actually collect the games, how many people um, don't collect the games, and just see uh, the different sizes of everyone's collections. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with Kamehameha.